To create your own uh, general withholding for payroll, go to the configuration menu and then system. Slide down under accounting management to where you see uh, payroll and then uh, payroll formulas is just under that. Double click payroll formulas. You'll see the federal and state uh, tables here. You can't edit those. If you'd like to create though a general withholding for your school, create uh, one in the general category here up in the upper left corner and then begin by clicking new formula in the bottom left. It'll be in the general category already and you'll want to create a new subclass here. So I'm going to create one for a simple health insurance premium that'll be a standard dollar amount that we'll withhold from each employee's check. So I'm creating a subclass called health and then a group name. This is what will appear on their check stub uh, called health. And it's a withholding, not a credit. So this is money that will be withheld from their paycheck. Click Next. Here I can give this a little bit longer name, a little bit more descriptive. Something like that. And given a start date. The start date is when I'd like this uh, withholding to go into effect. So it may be something that I'd like to hold off until the first of the year. If I do that, I can set the start date here to be a different uh, date rather than today. Most of the time you would keep it as today. Click finished and now we've created the withholding. That's step one. The next thing we need to do is actually create the formula. And so in order to have a different dollar amount available for each employee, we use that using a variable name. So we'll click add variable in the lower left corner. I'll make this very simple. Call it amount and the description for this is the amount to withhold. The mask here, you can pick what type of um, figure it is, whether it's a, a money figure, uh, just simply a number or integer, a percent, or a yes, no, true, false type test. So we're going to be doing a money format or mask. If we knew the dollar amount was the same for everybody, we could fill it in here and it would already bring that dollar amount in when we add this employees add this withholding to an employee but since we'd like to be able to set a different dollar amount we'll leave it as zero for now once I've created the variable I can then use it so I'll give a comment here and then I'll create my formula which is uh, a keyword var or variable and then the variable name, amount. And that's all there is to it. Uh, once you've saved that, this is a very simple, straightforward formula. You can get very complex with these, but this is just for uh, an example for you to see how to build one. If this withholding happened to be exempt from taxes, you can click the exempt from button down at the bottom and select whichever taxes uh, it might be exempt from, such as federal and state income taxes, something like that. This particular one is not exempt from taxes, so we'll leave it like that. And that's how you create a, a general withholding formula.